Drop it in the comments below if you know who which is, influencer, influencer has a fucking mic. I mean, it, it definitely would have to be somebody who uh, brags a lot for no, like, what are they making up for? You won't say a name right now. I'm not gonna say a name. You can say a name. <laughs> who would it be, bro? I, I have someone in mind. <laughs> You look a little rough today. I I highly disagree. I think I look great. I, I I'm wearing eyeliner still. That's dope. You are. It's That's still a, there. I, I still see it. It's from my, I painted myself like my dog. Anyways, welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, subscribing. If you're not subscribed, hit that button before I fucking do something about it. Oh. Hey, uh, yo, I had an audition this morning. I had an audition. This morning. My first Hollywood audition in 1.5 years, dude. How'd it go? Go uh, horrible. Yeah, yeah. What went wrong? I fucking blew it. What? I got cobweb. I was rusty. What do you, can I ask you? What you're doing? Bro, I, I am fighting for my life. Oh, uh, it's from that party, Jim. I'm fighting for my life. We right had now, we brother. went to a party last night. It was a fashion over party, party. party with Cardi. Party with Cardi with fashion over party. Cardi. Mike was there. You were there too. Hey, but at what point do you think you're too old for all that, bro? Ah. Yes, ten years ago. Okay. Like literally, like ten fucking. Yeah, I can't do this shit anymore. Bro. Uh, no, my me body either. is shutting down. Me dude. either. I went to the doctor the other day and I got my blood drawn just to see if I was good, like a like a checkup. And I, I've been getting a little more sick than usual. And uh, nothing's wrong. He just said to me, he goes, "You might just have to face the fact that you're not 18 anymore," and that sucks. Like I don't. I feel like I don't need sleep, but I actually do to stay healthy. And I'm getting sick more. My immune system's going down. My hangovers are lasting longer. Five Kid, days. Kids, watch out. It's it's over. It's over. Once you hit twenty three, it's done. We're missing Spencer. V badly, badly. Yeah. Like right now, he would be yelling at us, like, "Guys, like, do you think that's really smart for your immune system to be going out and partying like that?" And and, and Spencer's doing quite the opposite. He fucking flew to north Northern California, Norway, Norway to to run a, a another Iron, Iron Man. <laughs> Yo, so, good for you, Spencer. Good great. luck. Fucking great. Good luck, Spence. Love you, man. Hey, happy that you're fucking a, a spitting image of societal perfection. Yeah, dude, you rock. Yo, what? what? Party last night, right? With Cardi. We yeah. went to that party. Yeah. Bro, there's this hot Australian mom that I have a huge crush on, bro. Can you say this? Is she married I don't still? Know. No, 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 no. She's single. Oh, she's single? Oh, I'm not going to say who it is, but she got two kids. People probably know who she is. I know who you're talking yeah, about. That's fine. She's hot as fuck. And I realized something last night. Yeah. She, we were going to go to the club after the party. And so we were making this move to leave the club. And I started thinking, I'm like, yo, I got to get her out of here before the NFL and NBA players get here, bro. Oh, like as, <laughs> bro, as a micro influencer, bro, or any influencer in, in LA, you got to get before these the girls athletes, out before the before athletes, athletes come. Athletes. So we're walking out. It's me and a group of, uh, of oh, people. Oh, you secured the bag yeah, like that? Dude, no, no, it wasn't like just me and her, but we were the group. Okay. But I'm walking with her side by side. And we're walking out. We're going to go to Warwick. We're just going to slide out. We're sliding out the door. I see the door in sight, bro. I'm like, yo, we fucking made it, bro. This is going to yeah. go my way yeah, for once. It's great. Life is good right now, bro. We're like five feet from the door, and I see this arm reach out, no. dude. And I'm like, no, bro. And it, it, it just brazes her F shoulder. Football player, basketball player. OBJ. Uh <laughs> OBJ. And she looks, and she uh goes... Hired and I'm like motherfucking fuck, yeah, dude. You lost it, fuck, dude. Hey. And I just went, and I just went. Ugh. No, that's how it works. Bro. Uh, Athletes reign supreme here in LA. They're the they're the king of clout. If you're a relevant athlete, otherwise, like if you got like injuries and shit, you ain't shit. You know what else I hate <laughs> at, at, at parties? And it happened a lot yesterday. And I always complain about this when someone comes up to me. They're like, "Yo, I got this app." Like I will not invest in your app. Uh, even just like priority, uh, uh, you're not out of principle to out of principle because you told me about it at a party. I just won't do it. A guy comes up to me. This is a true story. Andre was there. He comes up to me with like small talk. He goes, yo, I own a medical dispensary. I, I, I Verbatim, I go, I don't care. <laughs> to his face. Like, I don't care. That's like, so no, bad. bro, I don't, I'm over, like, I don't care. I don't care, bro. Until, I've said this before. No, no, until not until one of what? those companies, they come up to you and they're like, I own a medical company. It's called he Bob Medical, and you're like, fuck He Bob Medical, don't care, go fuck yourself. Six m years later, you're back in Ohio, the vlog channel's <laughs> ruined, podcast got canceled because nah. Mike said something <laughs> stupid, and you watch the news, and it's like, -da 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 -da. today's breaking news He Bob Medical goes public for $48 <laughs> billion. Nah, out of principle, I still won't do it. <laughs> hey, we got a dope guest today. Should I bring him on? I don't have to. 
No, we should. We should, right? Because it's a bigger one than usual. He's done like actual television shows. Oh, he, he's got real talent. Yeah, like actual talent. Must be fucking nice, bro. Yeah. Hey, Congrats I want to bring in our guest, guys. He's an actor, a rapper, a YouTube OG, a food connoisseur, and you've seen him dissing someone's mama on Wild N' Out. <laughs> it's Timothy DeLaGhetto! Yeah! What's up, dog? What's up? Thanks How you for doing? having me, bro. How you doing, bro? For sure, I'm great. I'm great. Thanks for coming, coming on. Over. Coming over. Yes. Hey, Let's thanks go. for having me, bro. Hey, Tim got real talent. <laughs> I mean, facts. You right. <laughs> hey, when was your last audition, bro? Because I'm really worried about the one I had this morning. Man, you know what? I haven't, yo, I haven't booked an audition though in like a long okay, okay. time. Like I'm not, I'm, I'm bad. I feel like I'm really charming. You know what I'm saying? But like I get low key nervous. You know what I'm saying? So like you know, what? afterwards I'm like, ah shit, I should have said it like this. I should have yep. did it like that. Yep. I, I definitely didn't book my my last audition that I really booked was. The wilding out. No, no way. <laughs> Whoa, shit. How long ago was that? Man, that was, uh, let's see. Uh, I did like six years on that show. So that was probably like 2013. Damn, or 2000, bro. Yeah, when I auditioned was probably 2012. Six yeah. years? Six years, eight seasons. Yeah. What, yeah. Holy what shit. makes you feel more comfortable with, with wilding out versus like a like an audition? Is it because you're like it, like more improv in? Like you're just like kind of... Yeah, well, that was dope because like wilding out was basically everything I already... I knew I was dope at. It was like, you know, like a, like the freestyle yeah, rap and yeah. I, I did some improv comedy here and just in college. Just like, you know, just being goofy, being me, being funny, but yeah. also like getting some jokes off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was that I felt good about that. But you know how like auditions are, you feel good about an audition and you never get called back. It's the ones you're like, ah, man, I fucked that up. They're like, all right, yeah, yeah can you let's come go. back? Yeah, you got you're the right. job, bro. <laughs> no, no, here's why, here's why that like doesn't really work for me, bro. Cause like being a content creator, like quite honestly, I know when shit's good and I know when I'm good. Like in the scenes in Flat Earth, when we do scenes, oh you know when God, I'd be like, yo, bro. I don't believe myself here. Let's do that again. Like I, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I can yeah, feel it. Yeah. Jake Paul's calling me. What do you think he's going to talk about? The party last night? Saw Probably, you there. Yeah. I was there. Yeah. I turned around. I was like, hey, motherfucker, I'm going to be in your shit tomorrow. So <laughs> and I haven't seen you in like years. I feel like, uh, where did we meet? Uh, was it the Lily Singh video? Uh, oh, it might have been. The Vine like versus YouTube oh my God. rap. Yeah. I think that's like when we oh my God. met. That was a while ago. And then I feel like we ran into each other at some like New York thing. Okay. <laughs> real quick. A New York thing. I forget, bro. Uh, no, it's, it's no problem. But yeah, you tap me on the shoulder. He's like, yo, I'm on your podcast tomorrow. I'm like, <laughs> Timothy DeLaghetto's on my podcast. Oh, fuck. <laughs> do, you you. Ever, do you ever have a problem in LA with not remembering if you've met people before? I forget everybody. Like they come up to you, they, they say, yo, what's good? And we've talked about this before where oh, you yeah, have to there's say a key. either. There's a key. He's got you No, know, I always do this, right? No matter who it is. He's going to say the if, same if, shit. If it's a dude, I go. Oh, what's up, man? How you been? It's good to see you. What's up? What's up? How you been? You know what I'm saying? Exactly or, 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 I go, or I go, Um, have we met before? Just in case. Like, if a dude gives me any, like, eyebrow slight raise, I'm uh, like, yeah. have we met before? And if if yes, then it's like, okay, good. I'm safe. And then if not, then it's like, oh, shit. I don't know. You got a familiar face, dog. But, the, blah, blah, but blah. that's yeah. it. The good to see you good shit. Good to see you. Always. Works in both. It works in both things. Because when Always. you first meet someone for the first time, good to see you. When you're seeing them again for the first time or for the next time, good to see but you. But isn't a good to see you when you've never met like a, oh, but we've, what do you mean? It's it ha it just happened like, to me once. Yeah. It happened to me once. I'd never met the person ever. And they hit me at, leaving with a good to see you. And I was like, that was weird. Yeah. But also. Kind of worked. Kind of fucking worked. And I asked someone, I was like, why do, why do you think he said that? He's like, I don't know. He probably doesn't know if he remembers or met you before like, I don't know. Well, think about it. It's more of like a. It could even be more of like a physical compliment. Like good to see you. <laughs> like it's good to see you. It's great that I can physically see, see you, you with right my next. eyes. I'm blessed to have vision right now. Yeah. No, it's 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 it's, it's crazy because you know, especially all production, like white dudes look the same. They always have beards and they always oh. <laughs> like. Not you, you're on we camera. We say the same shit, bro. My Asian <laughs> people, bro. <laughs> I know. I mean, that's what I'm saying. But it's weird because I can feel the racism in the air. But it's but it's mutual. I mean, but you it's can, mutual. You can, you can say I you, disagree. You can really say that about like any ethnic group, yeah, really. Sure, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Depending on how you grew up. But like for me, like bearded white dudes all look the same to yeah, me. Yeah, and yeah. I can never tell them apart. And like, so I'm on. <laughs> I've met, I swear I've met the same bearded white dude like 10 yeah. times, and I feel bad about yeah, it. Yeah. You know, good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it, we really do, yo. I was watching Westworld. Have you seen that show? Oh my God, Bits and pieces. Yo. Bits and pieces, yo. And like, I got to agree with you. I had the same thought the other day. All the old, like, Western bearded dudes, yeah, look identical. Sorry, I'm being racist against my own race, y'all. <laughs> hey, fuck fuck no, white people, anyways. But <laughs> and also, stop apologizing. Me? Yeah. In general? Yeah, bearded white dudes, bro. They all look fucking same. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, look. Even like, look. If you watch like. Game of Thrones, you know what I'm saying? It takes you a good 
like season and a half before you really realize who's who. Everybody yeah. got long hair. You watch everybody our show? got beards. I do, I do, I do. And, and I heard like the last couple episodes were some of the best like cinematic content to grace TV ever. Can you verify? I can agree cinematically. It was it was very dope. You know, I'm, I feel like some people had some issues with some some stories and the way it went, but I I, I still like I fucked with that show. What was it? The Battle of Winterfell. It was some shit? it was the 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 long night <laughs> that people were kind of yeah yeah the long yeah, with with the White Walkers. I heard and that stuff, that yeah. was the best. That people say that that was the best episode of the series. Would you say? People or? go back and forth. A lot of people are, are, are really <laughs> mad, and some people no. really love it. You know what I'm saying? I enjoyed the episode. I but, sat down for. For two seconds, like, because I don't watch a show, and I was like, I'll give it a chance, mm. but also I don't think you can sit it. What season is it on? It's like eight. I don't think you could sit it on like four minutes of one episode on season eight and like understand. I saw a dragon get shot with a giant arrow. Yeah, <laughs> that was actually dope. Bro. That was dope. But it was sad. It was sad. Look it, out! It was sad. It's, it's even more sad if you watch this shit because she looks at those dragons like as her kids. Ah, you know? like, no. Yeah, those are like her and, babies. Yo, but it happened so quick. Yeah, people were mad about that too. It happened so Like there wasn't quick. enough buildup? Well, because they were like, well, if you watch the episode, right? Because, you know, like the other fleet of ships came from around yeah, the corner yes. and shit. People were like, yo, how did she not see a whole ass fleet uh, of ships when she was flying on her dragon? Uh, so people were like, people think the show's getting a little too like catering to like the fans and not the story like it used to be. Yeah, so that's well, the they were leaving complaint. coffee cups on Starbucks. Yeah, I was just going <laughs> to yeah. say, that's the biggest yeah. news. What are your yeah. thoughts on that? You think that that was a, a Starbucks plug was it like a, a, a Game of Thrones? Like, did they do it to try to build hype around the seat? Like, I, I think like it what's was, good? Bro? Nah, I think that was definitely just a, a mistake. Because it was a Ooh. dark, you know, the episode's been dark. There's a, they left a <laughs> coffee cup. on. When does it take place? What, like, it's early, like, like 1200? No, early, probably earlier, but right? like fictional, you know, what I'm saying? it's not even a real last, you know, just, world. It's just dragons Starbucks and stuff, you Post know? it up, dude. Yeah, but who's to say was, that? you think it was Amelia's fart, fault? Fart? <laughs> but who's to say that there uh, that 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 there's no Starbucks there? Like I get it seems unlikely, right. but like yo, everywhere I turn here, there's a Starbucks at every corner. So why can't there be one in Winterfell? Who's to say there wasn't like a a, a, a white bronzed chalice? You know what I'm saying that someone just had on the table? Yeah, she's like, a queen. I know it's unlikely, but it's still possible. I did see. Uh, an article <laughs> about what episodes you would have to watch if you wanted to catch up very quickly. Where, and the, yeah. the producers of the show put out like a quick list. It was like eight episodes from like a bunch of the different seasons. If you watch those, you can catch up. We should probably think about it, bro. I've heard good things. It's a, you know. I'm not gonna lie. I was not conscious. No, that. it's okay, man. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> I just, I, I wasn't even conscious for what I just said. I just made all that up, bro. It's improv. Hey, you're good. Hey, yo, let's cut the shit, all right? All right Listen, here's, here's what I want to talk about. Let's cut the shit, dog. Let's cut the shit, bro. All right. You made a video about me after Japan. Oh, I did. Shit. You remember that? I did. I, th out. I think it was a fair video. I, I also agree. Mm -hmm. But um, I just wanted to pick your brain a little bit about, A, even why you came on the show. Because sometimes I confuse people who who made videos after that mm -hmm. with people who hate me. Okay. And like, do you hate me, Tim? I do not hate you, bro. <laughs> you sure? I mean, and that's why I did that video. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh... Like, yeah, y'all did some dumb shit, right? I agree. It was some dumb shit. That's why I did the video, yeah, right? Yeah. But also, like, um, the the video that I did about you in Japan was specifically about, um, and if you haven't watched the video, I referenced something you said in your, like, your first statement that people hated too, right? Where you were saying, like, yeah, you know what? I'm doing this, like, 20-minute show every day, right? Like, your vlog. Mm -hmm. And I was, like, basically trying to dissect you for people that aren't familiar with vlog life. Because mm -hmm. vlogging every day can fuck your head up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I've known people that tried to vlog every day. I vlogged every day for a minute and like I didn't like it because I it was like just wasn't for me, right? Yeah. But for you specifically, I wanted to be like, yo, um, he is looking at this shit like his life is a TV show. Yeah. And when you get obsessed with that, you start to, the lines between life and what is just entertaining get fucked up, right? Yeah. So I was like, he was so focused on creating what he thought was going to be like, yo, this is the craziest content you've ever seen. You're kind of like, I feel like what you what you realized was maybe morally fucked up. You wasn't in your head. You know, I was trying to explain like, yo, psychologically, this shit's like, you know, it fucks you up. And I was trying to, you know, make a point to that. You know Got what I'm you. saying? Got you. It was so dumb, of course. It was fucked up. <laughs> I think we could all, I think we could <laughs> all agree, we all agree on, on that. that. But as you've seen. But I don't hate you. Oh, yeah, thank you. you. <laughs> or else I wouldn't have came on the show. No, yeah. Well, when uh, you confirmed, uh, I wasn't, or when we asked you, I wasn't sure if you'd say yes or, or not. Because like I said, I'm, I'm not sure where people um, lie nowadays. Yeah. Like some some people are holding it near and dear to their heart well, look, I, I'm, a year and a half later. Like, yeah. See, I'm against, I'm against canceling people forever too. You know what I'm saying? It was like, okay, 
people are stupid. They make stupid mistakes. We're all kind of growing. I've, I've of course done shit in the past that like I wouldn't do now. I've yeah. done like content in the past I wouldn't do now. And like, I feel like if someone recognizes their mistakes and apologizes for it, then like why, why fucking hold that over their heads forever? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Do you, would you say he's paid his, his time like from a cancellation standpoint or? I mean, shit, man. Look, like who, <laughs> who's to say how long you are allowed to be, you should be canceled. Because on that. the outs, maybe somebody should set up some guidelines, some pe a penal code. <laughs> around how long you get canceled for I think because it's on, I think it's on the person bro like it's on me like like we're still doing it we're still doing it so I mean I like look look at him like he's he's changed obviously like there's no question about it. I, I've been able to see it because I've been with him every day since it happened but like I think even watching from the outside and checking in every few episodes or looking at his content looking what he does like he's a completely different person now. I've just matured yeah it's and, and you know what like fuck if, if that needed to happen to make me an actual human, like uh. <laughs> to get you back back to real life, did, did, that that whole that whole period in Japan was a, a mess, um, as you know. And I, there was a there was a um, <clears throat> a part there where the narrative shifted to some sort of like Logan Paul racist against Asian people. Yeah, yeah. Did you feel that at all? Or I, I was. I, I, by the way, I'm so open with this because hey, surprise, I'm not racist. Gotcha. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Here's the vlogs. Take it away. He uh, brought me on just to pretend like he's not racist, y'all. Don't let him fool you. No, no, it's not true. One of my best friends is Asian. That's the, that's the, that's the classic. No, in high school, some of my best friends were no, Asian. No, no, I had sex with an Asian girl one time three years ago. Uh, <laughs> nah, but uh, okay, no, like uh, the I was definitely more irritated at the uh, the the shenanigans in Japan. Yeah. Than than to be honest, like the whole like the forest shit. You know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, because I was like, oh, I was like, oh my god, like. I was like, oh my God, who could, why Why would someone do this? And then I seen the Japanese shit, I was like, ugh. You know, it's just like rolling, you know, just like, you know, your typical like stupid white dude in Japan ah, trying doing to- dumb shit, just doing dumb shit. Dressing as Pokemon. Shit, disrespecting running, yeah. the people, you know? But hey man, as long as you realize you did wrong, and I know you did, I it, know you realize that. It's <laughs> I mean, do you know that, bro? What if I'm just from? <laughs> you just, could be. Well, nah. either way, um, shit. I mean, hey, uh, follow me, guys. If you guys don't, uh, <laughs> if you guys don't know who I am. I know. Uh, I'm trying to tap into my my young white girl demographic. Uh, like, uh, I don't think enough white people watch me, so I'm trying to tap into that. So, oh, hey, y'all, fuck with your boy. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. Hey, Tim's dope. We love Tim. Wait, really? What's uh, your what, socials? What, <laughs> what's your, what's your socials? demo for real? You know. Uh, my demo, well, you know, because I've been on YouTube for so long, yeah, right? Yeah. So it's crazy. My my demo is like, it's older. It's kind of now. It's like very like eighteen to thirty five ish, um, and uh, majority Asian, of course. And then really, yeah, yeah. I wonder why. Like well, you say, of course, that doesn't strike me. Um, well, I would not have thought that. Just because, um, you know, in the beginning of YouTube, there were so many Asian dudes that popped off, like Asian comedians, like you know, mm. Kev Jumba, Niga Higa. Yeah, like, yeah, of course. Me and I feel like that's mainly because. Asian people never really had anybody representing us on TV or movies. You know what I'm saying? So when they saw people coming out on YouTube, like doing funny shit or like doing rap shit or doing any music things, they were like, wow, finally somebody Asian mm. that like looks like me that I can identify with. So a lot of Asian people like popped off in the beginning. So that's why there's like a huge, like a lot of support from the Asian community just for anybody uh, trying to represent. That's awesome. You know? That's awesome. And then as a result, and then and then after that, you know, of course, like um, I got a strong like Latino community following too. That's cool. Because I, I grew up in LA. I do a lot of like Latino references, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh and uh, my best friends growing up were like, I went to like a night, like 80% Mexican high school. So uh, a lot of the homies that also, I like my best friends now are um, dudes that were my best friends in high school who happen to be Mexican. And uh, and also like, you know, I do a lot of like a uh, hip hop uh, humor. So, uh, you know, I got, you know, <laughs> of course, uh, black people enjoy my videos as well, especially after Wild and Out too. Like, you know, uh, anybody who like watched, uh, like a lot of older black people Know me now from from Wild and Out. Hey, is, you know? is your real last name De La Ghetto? No, no, is no. It, is it Ghetto? No, no. Does it have the, the word Ghetto in it at all? <laughs> no, because De La Ghetto De La is in French means of the. Mm -hmm. So it's, you speak it's French? It's Timothy of the Ghetto. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, Say something. Je parle un peu français. Amazing. Oh, what I is only, that? That's a really tough. I speak a little French. I only know oh, one wow. French phrase, and it's a uh, uh, "Voulez-vous toucher mes fesses?" Which is, which is "Would you like to touch my butt?" Oh, that's tight. Yeah. What's the song that's like? No, stop before we get copyright. But, <laughs> oh, fuck. Um, why do you know that? Huh? 
Uh, I was in uh, <laughs> Montreal for uh, okay. for a show, and uh, I was like, "Hey, uh, hey, French girls uh, or French Canadian girls, teach me some shit." And that's what they taught me. Would you like, like to, to touch, touch my, my butt? butt? Yeah. Did you touch their butt? Uh, probably. I was definitely. With consent, of I was definitely groupy staged yeah. at that point in my life, so I, I might have touched a French Canadian butt at one point. Yeah. You were I, asked to and cleared, yeah. obviously, and, to do uh, so. Consent only. Of Signed course. a form, what, what, all that shit. Right? What's the difference between a French Canadian butt and an American butt, if any? Um, you know, it's weird. I feel like anytime anybody is a kind of, some kind of like a spicy white, uh, the 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 booties tend to be a little like a, a little a little rounder. Oh. Rounder. Yeah, it's weird. If any type of European oh. Russian butt. Or like, uh, sp- like you know, spicy white. What about like the consistency? Like from <laughs> a from like a um, like mass standpoint, because like they don't probably eat as much like fast food. Is it firmer? Um, you know what? Um, it, it kind of all depends. <laughs> how, so, how do we milk this conversation this <laughs> long? Know. Yo, what type of girls are you into though? Um, I'm into you know in, in my past. If you just if you look at just my past, I've I've dated uh, all types of girls, like uh, literally like every color. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are they uh, all shapes and sizes? Actually, yeah, that's great. Yeah. You don't have a type. Um, okay, but if if okay, I didn't think I had a type until like until somebody was kind of like showing me pictures of 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 the the, the just what I like, mm-hmm. and then uh, it it was definitely I think I lean more towards brunettes, yeah. uh, more exotic looking, dark hair, uh, you know, like mixed girls and like just like. Dark. What's, your, what's but, your status right now? I'm married, actually. Yeah, yeah I, knew I saw that. that. That's I was just yeah. clarifying for yeah. Yo, congrats. Thanks. Wow. Yeah. What's that like? Not gonna lie, it's lit. <laughs> really? You don't mean that? It's no, I swear, bro. Whoa. It's pretty <clears throat> dope. Not gonna lie. Um, definitely going into it. I had a few people who were like, hey man, don't do it, bro. Don't do it, man. <laughs> were but they your boys? Uh, just people I had run into, you know. Uh, your boys were cool with it, though. My, no, my boys were fine. Yeah, because they, you know, they all love my wife, and uh, like they get along with. She gets along with the homies, so. So she, does she come out like and like hang out with the hang out with she can everybody and shit. She can, yeah. Like I mean, she she's more. She doesn't like to really like turn up. So if I'm trying to like turn up with the homies, she's like, ah, go get drunk with your friends. You know, she's not yeah. really trying to party like she that. She trusts you, like, yeah. Huh? She trusts you. She does. You 100%. trust you. I, I I do. I trust us. I do. Um, I don't know. I just met you, so I don't know, bro. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we were long distance for like six years, so we kind of had to trust each other. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We were yeah. long distance for six years. Mm-hmm. Where'd y'all meet? Um, basically, well, long story short, her uh, her one of her friends used to make YouTube videos, mm. and I thought that girl's videos were like super funny. So me and that girl just became cool on like Facebook, MySpace, all that shit. And one day I was creeping on Facebook and I was like, I was going through that girl's pictures. I was like, yo, who's your sexy ass friend? And uh, and she was like, oh, that's my, you know, that's my best friend, Chia or whatever. That's my wife's name. And then we basically just ended up messaging on Facebook and then we started texting. And then, uh, is this uh, her? That is her. Damn. Yeah. Well, you did good. I know. Whoa. I'm blessed. Hey, way to go. You think her friend is salty? <laughs> Um, Cause I, I think that yeah. conversation's always weird for yeah. me. Like you're like you're like talking to a girl and she's like, "Yo, I'm feeling this dude. He funny and shit." And then you're just like, "Yo, man, I've been meaning to ask you about your hot ass friend, yo." And the girl's just like, "Oh fuck, like what just happened, bro?" Yeah, true. No, I can see why people would be salty. She wasn't salty. She already had her dude, and yeah. she, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were just, you know, it was uh, it was chill. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah, good. But that's why he. Congratulations, wifey. bro. Thanks, man. We've been married for like she like seven months now. Whoa. Any uh any thoughts about having like a little the of baby? the ghetto? Yeah, I mean uh of the ghetto. <laughs> the, <laughs> oh, oh, the last name uh comes from the Fresh Prince, by the way. Just a little side tangent. Oh, okay, okay. It's not my real last name. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> whose last name was that? It was a, it's a Will made up a, a poet on an old episode of Fresh Prince, a, a poet named Rafael de la Ghetto. He joined a poetry club <laughs> to meet girls. Oh, and nice. then uh, he, uh, Rafael Classic. de la Ghetto. And so I took that because I was Classic. a big Fresh Prince fan. I like that. But yeah, uh, I mean, eventually we'll have some babies, not anytime too soon. Like my parents definitely are like, yo. Like before we even got married, they were like, "Yo, don't even get married. Just give us a baby." You know? Yeah, my mom's the same way. Yeah, she doesn't. She doesn't even. She just wants a grandkid. Um, this might be a little personal, but like when you're when you're married and you're not trying to get pregnant, mm-hmm. do y'all use like a birth control? Like, is she on birth control? Are you using condoms? Um, is there some sort of what's it? What's are you using uh, male birth control? That's a thi- new thing they're testing out. No, what's right the now? thing that the contraception? No, the it's, a it's, dental dam. No, it's a tea. A dam, it a looks tea, like a tea, and it's, it's oh, you talk, oh, you talk uh, about the, 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 um, the um, golf tea. <laughs> yeah, it's the, IUD? Um, IUD, IUD, IUD. Yeah, no, 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 um, internal explosive device. <laughs> <laughs> no, we 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 practice safe sex. I pull out. Really? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Wait, no, can no, we? Wait, hey, can, wait, can no, we no. stop there for a second? Pull the pullout game is a is a science, bro. I have been running pullout game for man, seems like thirty <laughs> fucking years now, bro. It is a science. 
Tell me more about no, what you do. No, that was that was def- no no. She she's on birth control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, well, she, she's, she's been. She's myself. always been. <laughs> but, fucking, but fucking pull out. No, game. but also like you know, no, the, the pull out game is 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 definitely a, a serious serious game. You know what I'm saying? It's, I, a, it's a serious game. I feel like where people fuck up is like when dudes are like, "Yo, I'm gonna pull out right when I'm about to bust." I think that's where you fuck. No, up. you got to pull out like three seconds at early least, yeah, and get and, and then, then jack, jack yourself off to, fi- yeah, to finalize. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, here's I'm I'm that dude. I'm that dude that's shooting buzzer buzzer readers. Yo, all the no, I can't. I can't. It's a game that I lose. I can't do the pull out. Like I just can't. Can't, bro and like dad I'm so sorry it's just not for me I don't know why I'm so bad at it um can a girl get pregnant on her period do does anyone know mm. Dylan's shaking his head no, no I don't think but so. I've heard it's possible I've heard yeah, there's a slim like a blue chance moon uh, or a red moon I learned uh, in college, the, like one of the only things I learned in college is is if pre cum can actually get a girl pregnant or not. And like, I heard, it, I heard it can. Well, here's what I learned, right? Here's what I learned. This is crazy. I actually just said this on my podcast. So it's like, out of like six years of fucking college before I dropped out, this is like one of the only things I learned. Six years of fucking in college? No, no, no. <laughs> six years oh, of, oh, of motherfucking oh, college. Uh-huh. Uh, so well, I took a human sexuality class. And uh, and one of the questions they asked was like, yo, he, he, like we asked a dude, this dude that he was like this expert that came in. And we asked, can pre-cum actually get a girl pregnant? Because we've heard different things, yeah. right? And he was like, here's what it is. Let me tell you. He's like, oh, I probably shouldn't even be telling you guys this, but this is what it is, all right? So when you hit, like when you smash raw, and then you, uh, then you like, right, you pull out, you bust, right? Um, if you go for round two, and you don't pee in between sessions. Oh, what? then you're, f- wait, what? First of all, right. Just- wait, hold on, hold on. That's what I'm saying. Continue. It's like, so you, you, you have sex once, you bust. And then you go on, and then like, so, you know, you're supposed to kind of pee, flush your system, clear, clear, clear your pipes out. 100%. If you don't- if you get a UTI. If you get a UTI, right? It's like everybody should pee, right? Yeah. So if you don't pee, what happens is the pre-cum from round two is pushing out sperm that's still left in your urethra oh. from round one. What about, what about round one pre Yes. That is- So he was trying to say, he was trying to say that that doesn't happen. If if it's round one, pre- only round Who's two. Who's this pre- guy? Do you know his name? I forget his okay, name. Okay, let's no. call let's call him Tim. Let's say we take Tim's advice. Why would I name him the same name as you? Let's call him John. Jimmy. Let's call him John. Let's take John's advice that we heard from Tim, and also like now we have a baby. So fucking now what, John? You you screw all second. of us. Well, yes, having unprotected sex at any time is risky and can result in pregnancy. Well, of course. Um, it's- the it- time when a girl is most likely to become pregnant can happen within a few days when your period ends. So I think you can still get. Pregnant if she's on her period. The biggest well, thing, the biggest magician, thing, the biggest know. thing here is obviously the, the the easiest way to not get a girl pregnant is to have sex with her on top because <laughs> gravity. This is that's like kinder. Like I learned that shit so early, right? Because I, I thought you were gonna say use a condom. Oh, I've not, I heard about these things a million fucking times. Dude. People keep mentioning them, bro, and I'm just like, yo, what are you saying, dog? Yo, but no, honestly, because of gravity, so like the cum goes up. It can't fertilize the egg because it immediately <laughs> fucking drops down, bro. Newton's fucking fig Newtons. Nah, <laughs> Newtons fig <laughs> Newtons, bro. Hey, I also heard. I also heard <laughs> if you uh, if you smash in a hot tub, you can't get pregnant because the, because the, it's too hot. the sperm dies they immediately. Drown. They drown. I've heard that. <laughs> I mean, I breathe, dude. I've heard shit where it's like, and I would never believe it though. But I've heard like some dudes like will soak in hot like bath oh, water kill, beforehand yeah. to kill like just. The, yes. I, man, I don't know, man. I heard. Yeah, yeah. If you if you stay in a hot tub for twenty minutes yeah. and then. Have sex like it's all, j- but again, don't don't please no, do please not. no do don't not. do. By the way, please, quick yeah. disclaimer: I've done these in the past. Kids wear condoms. <laughs> don't have unprotected sex, and if you do, fucking pull out way early. No, I but fucking know also, shit. I mean, like Fuck. STDs are like skyrocketing. Like the numbers are going mad high right now. Like there was that herpes outbreak after Coachella. You know what? I, another thing I heard recently, yeah, uh, an LA thing, and I didn't know this: that STDs were actually the. Um, preface for Pokemon and so it once you catch them all you revert you actually go back <laughs> to being clean did you guys know that I, I I heard about that yeah so it's like gotta catch them all yeah and then once you get all of them bro you reset start over and okay. you start over and then if you want to do it better the second time wear condoms whatever you could do that yeah. I gotta start playing the game it's again. crazy you really yeah. do, bro. it's yeah. crazy I'm only missing a couple right now bro. is that Shit, why you're dude. like you're, you're walking down this I saw you walking down the street earlier like <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm like damn I gotta find chlamydia zilla <laughs> chlamydia <laughs> sore <laughs> <laughs> Chlamydosaur. <laughs> hey, bro. So you have been on YouTube for a while. Yeah, like 13 years. This is your most viewed video. No, <laughs> what the fuck is going on here? This is called the Asian nip slip. Bruh. What, uh, first off, what is the dimensions? The quality is 240p. Dog, that's why this video, this video is like from what year? It's like 2005, bro. 2006. Bro, what is... 
Why? So what has happened? Wait, what's good with the ratio on the likes and Bruh, dislikes? No, uh, oh, oh, because look, here's the thing. This video, <laughs> this video How has does it only have so little this, likes and dislikes. This video has so many views because it got caught in that like you know that weird like porn where people think they're gonna find porn on YouTube and it's like oh the, yeah, so it gets suggested when dudes are like trying to find like so this is the thumbnail. So everyone, every dude that clicks on this <laughs> thinks he's about to look oh, at an no. actual like Asian girl nipple. Oh no, bro. And by the way, I was the demo that was looking, I was like, <laughs> like the, my first porn I ever watched, I typed in girls boobs. Yeah, on YouTube, right? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. like, this is, I probably watched this video so before. So this is the shit that pops up. <laughs> oh no. So all this no. is, this is literally just a behind the scenes, like, like snippet of another like full out video we were doing like back then. And wow. uh, yeah, I just got this visual of Logan at like 11 years old. He's he's there hanging out with like the tissues and like his jergens no, and shit. No, he, no. Types in, he types in <laughs> like girls boob and he like is all ready to go. And then that your boob <laughs> and, pops me. Up and, and everything like, comes full uh, circle now. <laughs> Thanks for yeah, being my first on the porn. Podcast. I'm here, bro. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. The size matter. What? It's right there. What? what? It's right there. Oh, and the, the r- size matter to, to me. Well, I mean, do you think <laughs> do you think it does? <laughs> well, I, I have I have this whole thing that I preach because in my videos a lot I say like it's not big but it's pretty, and like and it was like a funny thing I was saying just because like I just thought it was funny, you know what I'm saying? But like a lot of one like a couple Asian dudes hit me one time. They're like, "Yo, why do you always say that it's not big if it's pretty in your videos? Like you're making us look bad." I'm like, "Bro, first of all, look, I'm not saying all Asian dicks are like." like not big I'm saying I'm talking about myself you know what I'm saying but that is a common I mean yeah that's, that's the stereotype right? yeah, yeah. And, that, and that's why I say it okay it's about to get deep for no reason all right? All right, no, it's good or dog. not that deep yeah exactly honest, exactly, <laughs> no, exactly. Not that deep, bro. Um, so like I felt like for me you know when when dudes are trying to like uh make fun of like Asian dudes like you know growing up like me and the homies would all just make fun of each other make jokes like make racial jokes and stuff so when they want to hit you with like that final there's, there's like a tier of Asian jokes right it's like can't drive uh, good at math can't drive Fucking, you eat dogs, little dick, right? So they want to get you with that, like, death blow. It's like, you got a little dick, right? So I feel like for me, like, it was too easy to be like, nah, I'm Asian, but I got a big ass dick. You know what I'm saying? That's the easy way out, right? Because yeah. all dudes are talking about how big the dicks are anyways, yeah, yeah. and we all lying about the shit. So it's like, I felt like that was pointless to do that. I feel like it was basic. So for me, I thought, like, it would be more effective to be like, all right, look, you guys see me. I'm mad confident. I, g- I get baddies. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's, I'm, I'm doing my thing, but also... I'm not thrown off by you saying I got a little dick. Like, yeah, okay, it might be not big. It might not be big, but it's pretty. I'll still take your bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. <laughs> you know, self deprecation yeah. is fine. Right. But, it, but it's like also like to be like, hey, don't let anybody else's like critiques or, <laughs> or words against you keep you from getting what you want to achieve in life. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I put this on my Instagram story. I know there's an influencer out there with the micro penis. <laughs> I just, who is I just it? don't know who it is. Who is it? Do you have bro? any guesses? Like, like a, like a real. I'm not talking like small penis. I'm talking micro penis. I've, I've talked know. to two girls that have hooked up with dudes with micro penis. Bro. So if you don't know what micro penis is, it's a, it's an actual medical condition that erect your penis is like I think it was like a, it, like two inches yeah, tops. Like three I'm, inches I'm, tops? I'm a Google pictures. I'm not going to show it, but no, I'm going to look at it. Oh fudge! Yeah, it's oh. it's fucked up, and it's also fucked up that doctors gave it that title. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like something <laughs> else, anything else? Yeah, uh. micro penis. You couldn't have come up with something more creative than yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> Unless it's supposed to be like m- m- wow. macro penis or something. Do they have a <laughs> macro penis? Do they have a one on the on the opposite side called a macro penis? Mm. Like your mandingo? Does mandingo have a macro yeah, penis? Probably, probably. Shit. Or a macro penis? No, but, no, but, no, but who is it? Who like shit? Yo, like, this I is have a, some guesses. Drop it in the comments below if you know who, which influencer, influencer has a fucking mic. I mean, it, it definitely would have to be somebody who uh, brags a lot for no, like, what are they making up for? You won't say a name right now. I'm not gonna say a name. You can say a name. <laughs> who would it be, bro? I, I have someone in mind, bro. But he's like a homie. I don't, I don't, I don't talk. I don't talk to enough of y'all to uh, to, to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Do you think it would be a mic? Say this one. I don't. Want, I, do you think it would be a micro influencer? <laughs> That would have a micro penis. Nah, Does it go? No, they don't. No. They don't. Because I'm a I micro think, influencer. No. I, you know. I mean, whoever you're thinking about, you, you, it would be crazy uh, clickbait, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not gonna. I, I think I'm gonna save this one. This is like a, a, a. I'm at the pivot point. I'm at the fork in the road, and I'm gonna take the the path where I don't say. Wait, it. So look in the camera and do it with a hand. <laughs> do your best to do the his name with a hand motion. Nah, bro. I'm not even or gonna. just with your eyes. 
Holy shit! I Damn, know exactly I knew he, who you're talking about. I knew he was gonna say that too. Wait, wait, wait. I knew Holy it. Shit, I knew bro. it. I knew it. Yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah. What's yeah. going on? You tweeted about Tyra Banks. I did. Tyra Banks is uh, beautiful. Cover of Sports Illustrated for the first time in 23 years. Mm-hmm. Um, was it? What's the? What's the conversation around this? Are people digging it or people are digging it? Okay, let me let me let me pull up these. Have you seen the picture? It's yeah, amazing. It's, it's it's incredible. So she looks fire, bro. She just did this. How yeah. old does she know? She got to be like forty. Yeah, forty five. <sighs> wow, amazing. Tyra Banks, and she was on it. This was young Tyra Banks. Yeah, yeah, Damn, dude, she's really doing it. You know who I feel like is gonna be the next Tyra Banks? Rihanna. Like Rihanna gives me T Banks vibes because she's also all like natural and shit too. Damn, Rihanna's yeah, awesome, bro. dude. Do you, you have got, a? You have a you have son. A, we're, sorry, I didn't. We just, <laughs> Let's just say, do you have a celebrity crush? Is is she it? <laughs> um, you know, it's funny that you say that because it would, it would probably be uh, Rihanna. No uh, way! Oh, really? It, yeah, yeah. I think I, you know, Rihanna's the one person like because I don't follow a whole lot of celebrities either. But Rihanna's the one celebrity I, I'm like, I'm like, ah oh, man, she doesn't give a she doesn't give a shit about me or anything at all. But I just I need to keep up with her in these pictures. You she know? she yeah. watches, she subscribes. Oh, word! I think so. Too bro. impulsive. Oh shit! So. Oh, She's shit. watching. You got anything to say to her? Well, it's uh, too late now because I'm married. Uh, don't don't say anything. We're gonna <laughs> stop you right there. Um, you know, but are you, you're in a fashion, yeah? Yeah, I got a clothing brand. Uh, happy uh, these new uh, Happy Thoughts hoodies. Goodybrand.com. If you want to check that out, I like that yellow. Thanks, you, man. Yellow's in. It's 2019. He's yeah. just trying to prove he's not racist, y'all. Facts. Oh, oh, fuck. Facts. Fuck. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, doesn't even cross my mind, bro. <laughs> when did do, when did you stop? That's fucked up. When hey, you, that's fucked up. I'm talking about your hoodie. I know. I right, know. Well, whatever, bro. I know. <laughs> I hate myself. All right, but you, you so you do, you do do a lot of uh, fashion stuff. You do a lot of food stuff too. Like I do reviewing food and food connoisseur and yeah. My channel just kind of like kind of pivoted like this past year. Really? And it's been mainly just like food content. This shit kind of took off. It's kind of crazy because I mean I always liked food and I loved like just eating at just, like anywhere like you know just eating. Oh, really. all right, that's perfect because we we actually have a course for you right now. Oh shit! That uh, I want you to food connoisseur. Oh, what this is? I, wh- wow, this looks amazing. Yeah, this looks wow. fire. Why are you guys? Chef eating? Katie well, cooked us something chef, special. Bro. Chef Katie, chef. Can, can you? Can you tell us what you've made here? This is. Hey, come over. Come over, yeah. Chef Katie. Come on. Is this going to be like a prank? Is this like, am I eating some weird no, this animals? Is, this is, you're, Andre, the, you're a food expert now. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, chef, no, come here. Come on. Right. Here, I'll hold this up for you. Thank you. Okay. All right, roasted sweet potato with a touch of habanero. Mm. Then you have uh, roasted, uh, what are they called? Plantains, sweet plantains, uh, grilled bison, and then some broccoli. Wait, yeah. you wait, you went in for the. Yeah. Did you purposely make the, Like, this is one of my favorite meals. Yeah, it's, it's real good. This is, oh, wow. This Chef Katie. <laughs> Hey, and what is what is this? Just cornbread? Oh. Is it is it gluten free? Did you? It is gluten free. You're incredible! Wow. Are you not eating gluten? Nah, I heard it. I heard uh, it's. Yeah, thanks, Chef Katie. Thank you, Chef Katie. <laughs> no, seriously, this is my favorite meal. Wow, this is, it it smells bomb. It looks bomb. So I, I want to get your your opinion. And by the way, if it, if you don't like it, bro, you can say like Chef oh. Katie's very nice, bro. bro first of all, That's I mean, the point of this. I mean, look at like the bison's like cooked perfectly. I, I like I like it a little, you know, a little pink. You know what I'm saying? I like that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. like rare, rare, yeah. Mm-hmm. Just pink in general. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Fire. It's good, right? Fire. Meat. Yeah. Bison. Super hey. tender. Hey, you did it, Chef Katie. Mm. I love this meal. Sweet potatoes, cooked perfectly, melt in your mouth. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Try the plantains, yo. Mm. Platanos. Change your life. Ooh, mm, man, that's crazy. That's like dessert, <laughs> girl. Mm-hmm. You crazy? Mm. Mm. He's about to get a divorce right now. Wow. Remarried <laughs> Chef Yo, mm, so buttery. I, mm. <laughs> so buttery. Mm. Mm. Nah, this this is. Now nah, nah, I'm stuck because I have a podcast to do, but also this delicious bowl of food in front of me. What would you rate this meal out of ten? Tim, <laughs> let's go. That was easy. Hey, you did it. That's amazing. Damn, you just like now. I'm like, I need a private chef. <laughs> Yo, number number. The most important thing ever, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, like you wake up and the first thing you think about is, yo, I should probably breathe. Mm-hmm. Hell no, mm. hell no, bro. Wake up, have your chef with food, then breathe, bro. Okay. I'm, t- I am fucking like at some point, bro. I'm gonna go broke. <laughs> I'm gonna be on the fucking corner in sunset. And I'm going to just be thinking about bowls of food just yep. being delivered, mm. bro. I, I always said, when I got the chef, that was my I made it moment. Mm-hmm. Out of that, like, that was the final thing. I was like, you, I think it's safe to say I fucking did good. These plantains and I told you, are amazing. I told you, they're so sweet and so tasty. Man, I'll never get rid of Chef Katie. She's, wow. she's literally going to quit before she's I get the rid of most important When do you think she's going to quit, by the way? <laughs> it's bound to happen. I feel like, I don't know. 
I feel like when the requests get too heavy, because we have two <laughs> vegans that live here, one of them's the camera guy. Uh-huh. It's fucking weird, dude. Like, don't tell him <laughs> I said that, dude. But what? <laughs> what's really good, bro? Nah. <laughs> But like, and then and then they convinced him to be like gluten free. Mm. No, no, and then and then sometimes they're just like, "Yo, like let's do more superfood infused kale." Like at some point, a chef's just gonna be like, "Yo, do me a favor <laughs> and go fuck yourself," <laughs> literally, because I can't keep up with all these fucking requests, bro. How's the cornbread? How's Gl- the cornbread? Gluten free cornbread. I'm not mad at the gluten free cornbread. Really? Mm-hmm. She does a really good job of of, of keeping things tasty, even though wow. they're gluten free and sometimes Incredible. vegan. That's amazing. Yeah, I heard uh, gluten free. Uh, if you're gluten free, you sing better. It's better for your vocal cords. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. This is like this is for real. I think so. That's what he heard, and he thinks so. Uh, well, ju- ju- <laughs> Justin, he thinks Tim- so. Justin Timberlake did it. His engineer told me he was gluten free uh, when he went on tour. But it wasn't his singing engineer. It was his car, like his engineer for his car. <laughs> dude. So he just listen to anything anyone says. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm definitely like, like you said, man. When you get older, right? Like your body starts to change. For sure. Like when I hit 25, my metabolism immediately slowed down. Really? You know, I used to be able to eat like anything and I would not gain any weight. Were you right? working out though? I mean, no, no. But when I was younger, I wasn't, I wasn't even working out like that. You know, I just, I was, I could just eat and my metabolism was like, took care of it, you know? But when I got older, I definitely like, cause you know, I like to eat. I could tell that shit was starting to affect my body. You know, now I got like high cholesterol and shit. Mm-hmm. I really got to watch what I eat. I got to yeah. actually work out. Cheerios. Probably, and all. you probably got to eat less uh, red meat, less beef. I know. Shit. Get Yo, some, quickly. Speak, bison, speaking, though, right of, after the bison. speaking of beef, bro. <laughs> You ever have any beef with anybody on Wild and Out? Mm. Or in general? Mm-mm. No? I mean, no beef with anybody on Wild and Out. Because, like, we all just get on. You know, we know what it is. You know, we all just get there. We make fun of each other. And, how, and how, that's what impro- it is. how improv is it, though? It's like, I mean, it's not scripted. People think it, it's scripted. Mm-hmm. And I explain it to them like this. It's like, you know, like, if you're going into... Um, and this is well, this is how Nick's explained it. Like when you're going into a game and everybody knows, like you know, you have you have a playbook. You have certain things in the back of your mind that you know you can use. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And it's like what it is is we we play the same basically five games, three to five games every episode. So of course, you know, sometimes you're like something might pop into your head that you're like, oh, this would be good in the episode. Like, we play a game called Let Me Holler where we, like, spit some game at a uh, Wild and Out girl. So it's like, sometimes I'll be chilling in the shower. I'm like, ah, shit, that's funny, right? Uh-huh. I'm gonna write that down so I can say it. Or sometimes, uh, and every night before we taped each episode, they tell you what games we're playing and who's gonna be on the opposite team. So you know who's there. So you might know, so your like, brain starts yeah, clocking. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and, and lucky for me, sometimes people would come up to me and they'd be like, hey, just so you know, this episode, I got something for you. So I'd be like, all right, immediately I'm like, oh, that's I'm, cool. I'm like looking at what they're wearing. I'm like, okay, what can I say to this motherfucker if he comes at me? Like shit like that, you know? You know, uh, you know the, the the girl T? Hi, my name is T. Uh-huh. You know her? I do. You I cool do. with her? Uh, I am. I've known her for uh, for, for a long, before a while and out. And before she really popped off on Instagram, really. Yeah, put her in some YouTube skits. Why you got, why you hate her? Nah, I mean, <laughs> oddly enough, we got her coming on the show tomorrow, bro. Oh, word. Yeah, I got connected to her through... Somebody, I can't remember who it was. And they were like, yo, she watches the show. She really wants to come on, whatever. Yeah. So we were like, yo, come on. So T's we got sweet. two wild and out people in two days. Mm-hmm. T's sweet, man. I've, I've known her for a long time. I met her on set for some other shit that we did. And uh, yeah, she's cool. She's funny. She's goofy. She makes me laugh. She was just in uh, hey, what, hey, one hey. of Tyga's videos. I, you were just taking it away from him like that? <laughs> I don't, I mean, I'm Are like, sure I'm, I'm a, I don't want to right right chew while I'm, I'm here, but I'm going to definitely I, eat I, some mine later. Is, yeah. Mine is gone. <laughs> Compl- and by the way, thank you for talking and giving me time to eat. I I've, got you. I've been like, she was in one of Tiger's music videos recently. Just recently, yeah. yeah. What some like rodeo shit? Oh, Yo, dope. did they shoot that at um the, at on the Sunset Old Town Ranch? Oh. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, at that place uh, Saddle Ranch on Sunset. Probably because it was a mechanical bull. Looked just like Love Saddle Ranch. Yeah, probably it's a fun fucking place. Do you know what your six hundred and sixty eighth vlog was by chance? <laughs> 668th vlog. I do not remember. I'd be so impressed if you did. Um, <laughs> it's called Wild and Outcast Members Be Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, dude? You, like, I know it's true. I know it's true. Um, I wouldn't say that. Uh, Without well, that was that was some clickbait, th- like kind of clickbait, just because we uh, in that specific vlog. <laughs> I ask, I ask, like Justina Valentine is at, is like pretending like me and her had sex. Like she's making that joke. She likes to make that joke. 
Um, okay. But, <laughs> but that's pretty dope when you get hot girls make like, yeah, yeah I mean, we had sex. You know, well, that's just the state that she, she likes to make that joke. You know what I'm saying? So uh, people will definitely think the cast members be fucking. I mean, you know, when you're when you're on set with a lot of people for a long time, whether it be like crew or wilding out girls or whatever, like people start hooking up. It, just, it happens, you know? It happens. It doesn't happen on our set. No? Nah, nah. You need more nah. people, bro. I mean, I'll be honest. It's just me, hit, me, Logan, and a vegan, another vegan. <laughs> yeah, we have yet to hook up. And we've, none of us have hooked up, bro. Give it some time. I mean, yeah, we'll see what happens, we'll see. see what's good. So, yeah, you know. Shit happens. Are you satisfied with with your career? Is that what do you want to what do you want to do? What do you want to keep doing? I mean, I wouldn't. I'm 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 happy with where my career is at. I'm I'm blessed to have done what I've done, and like um, I'm definitely grateful for everything that's happened so far. I, I'm not. I wouldn't say I'm satisfied. You know what I'm saying? Because when I when I started off putting out content, it's because I was really trying to be like you know TV movie star. Like I was trying to be like Asian Will Smith and shit. You know so. Uh, Are you still trying to be that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can do it. Yeah, because I, I, um, you know, like doing Wild and Out was was great because it was kind of like all the years I've been saying, "Yo, I'm gonna be on TV. Watch, watch this, this, and that." It was able to kind of like really kind of uh, cement. That yeah, shit, yeah, yeah. So that was cool, but also. Um, uh, you know, MTV's dope, and you know, and and they're dope up there. But I would also like the next. I I just want to elevate everything. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done an MTV show. I want to do like some NBC, CBS shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I've done little parts in, like couple movies, but I want to be like on some blockbuster shit. You know, so I just want to take everything I'm doing now and really just kind of take it times ten. What's so your is Will Smith like your your like <clears throat> cream of the crop? Kind of, well, yeah. Like, okay, so, so when I was younger, right, I was so obsessed with the Fresh Prince because, um, like, I was an only child and shit, so I kind of feel like the Fresh Prince raised me, you know, taught me how to, like, talk to girls, taught me yeah. how to be confident. Oh, that's awesome. That was back in West Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bo- born and raised, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, back in East Long Beach where I was growing yeah. up as a little, a little boy. Um, but I remember, oh, so I made a plan for my life. It was called the Fresh Prince Format. And it was to do everything that Will Smith did, which was like rap, TV, movies. That's you know? right. So uh, that's like the plan I was trying to follow. And uh, and that's why I took my like my name from an episode of Fresh Prince. So I just, you know, I just kind of made it like a model for my life. Just trying to do everything he did. That's dope. Yeah, what's your, thanks, what's your favorite um, Will Smith movie of all time? Hmm. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. You know, if, I mean, let's see. Like what, like what comes to mind automatically is like, you know, like Bad Boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like, uh, Independence Day is, like, yeah. a classic. We watched... Uh, I Am Legend. I Am Legend. I, am Legend. Yeah. I, I actually fuck with this movie called Seven Pounds. Seven Pounds was crazy. 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 Bro, I actually, it's one of the only movies I really can continue to cry at the end of that fucking right, movie. Like, right. it is just... You haven't seen Seven Pounds with Will Smith, yo. You gotta watch that because that shit's especially nuts. like when Rosario Dawson looks at dudes like uh, yeah, yeah, what, the at, at the end. Oh yeah, my god, yeah. bro! As soon as that happens, every time I'm like, like a whimpering little baby seal, bro. <laughs> Crazy. You never saw that shit, right? Nah, we gotta watch that. that. It's good. Bro. I'll, I'll watch it. it. It's uh, you tweeted this too. It's the 25th anniversary of the scene. Mm-hmm. Where uh, Will Smith's dad leaves him. Yeah, and, isn't that crazy? Uh, it's it's one of the best performances on sitcom, sitcom I probably that ever. Shit, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. How come he don't want me, man? Yeah. That was another crying moment yeah, for me. Tim, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's kind of doing yeah, it right I now. I did, I did, I did, how come you don't want me, man? I had fourteen <laughs> great birthdays without him. He never even sent me a damn card to hell with him. Damn. Let's go. How come you don't want me, man? <laughs> Let's go. Let's oh, go. thanks, guys. Hey, that was tight. Thanks. No, I could have been better. <laughs> Not on the spot, bro. Hey, if you want to be a movie star, bro, I mean, are you auditioning? You said I am. I am auditioning. You know, um, I'm going out here and there. I could be going out more. Uh, um, but uh, you know, I'm I'm trying to make it happen, especially now it's a good time. Like after Crazy Rich Asians popped off, there's like so many more opportunities. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's crazy, it's facts. Like when it was coming out, I remember like thinking like even if this movie is trash, I'm going to tell everybody it's dope because it needs to do well mm. in the box office because if it does well financially, then more opportunities will pop up, more movies will get greenlit, you know? Yo, that's that's crazy how the climate works like that. Because like being like a white dude, uh, until I uh, dated, who my, now my ex-girlfriend, Chloe, she's half Asian, mm-hmm. and she would educate me on like, what Asians go through, how they grew up. And like when that movie was coming out, it was a big, big deal. Yeah. It was a big deal for the Asian uh, community. Yeah, because there there had never been like a movie in Hollywood with like a full Asian cast that, you know, like wasn't doing like Kung yeah. Fu and shit yeah. in like 20, 25 years or something like that. So I knew if it, it all kind of came down to if this movie did well or not. And now that it did do well, like critically and like financially, um, 
a lot of different projects are popping up, a Very lot of cool. movies, a lot of like TV opportunities. So I'm just, you know, trying to like do some push ups and get right, get my skin right. You know what I'm saying? Because my skin's like been trash for like a long time. You know, I got acne. What do you drink? A lot of water? Trying to. You should, dude. I drink three of these puppies a day. Are three, th- three of these yeah. a day? Three gals a He's day, insane, my guy. Bro. Are you serious? Just chugging down the water. That's crazy. That's probably why my metabolism is fire. Shit. All right. Just three, always chugging water, bro. Three gallons a day. That's wild. Uh, speaking of water. <clears throat> I have a list here. Uh-huh. Oh. I, mean, I made this. I made this up, dude. Okay. And I'm going to bring this up in the future. Okay. On, on a lot of episodes, but this is this is me. I did not get inspired from anybody. I did mm-hmm. it myself. All right. It's called the survive and thrive list. Okay. I want everyone to make a survive and thrive list. Um, I was sitting, sitting or yeah, sitting at the kitchen table the other day. And I was like, these are, these are things that I need, the essentials for me to both survive and more importantly, thrive. Okay. Because I don't want, just want to be here on earth. I want to fucking live. Yeah. And these are things I need. If you can boil it down and simplify your life and really focus on these things, I think you're in good shape. Okay. Here's, here, here are my things. I have eight, but I want to hear some of yours after. <laughs> so, right. And they might overlap. To survive and thrive, I need one. Food and water. That makes sense, yeah. It seems like, yeah. yeah. Seems about right. Number two, sleep. Mm-hmm. I am 24 now. I need, I need, I need... Pfft, I try to get like six to six to eight hours. I do at least six, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need sleep. Might need a little more uh, in the future. Three, create. I got to create, yo. Mm-hmm. Or you'll yeah, go crazy. This shit, making videos, taking pictures, whatever. I just got to create. Four, artistic consumption. I'm, uh, I got to watch, I got to watch movies. I got to consume content and be inspired by other people. Yeah. Music videos, whatever it is. I'm constantly just watching shit, shit absorbing, stealing like an artist. That makes sense. Five, relax and recovery. It's important, dude. It's important because you know why? Number six is party. I got to fucking party. I mean, it's I important. Gotta party, bro. I, it's, just, it's a balance. Work hard, play hard. Yo. I agree. And I play hard. That's where I get my best stories. That's where I become like a crazy man, like cats mm-hmm. out of the box. Seven, female energy. I need it, dude. I need it. Mm-hmm. Women are so great. Mm-hmm. They just have something that I don't. And literally, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. And the last one, number eight for me is exercise. Mm-hmm. First step to greatness is fitness. Mm. So those are my eight things. Okay. Survive the biggest thing list. I think you're missing from that list is <clears throat> number nine, the survive and thrive list. Like, what if you forget uh. all the fucking things, bro? <laughs> that's and that's you, it. You know what that's I'm saying? Like, so, so what are some things you need to survive and thrive, Tim? That, that's a solid list, bro. Uh, I think everything on that list is, a, you know, it's a, it's, it's a good choice. Uh, I think for me, what I would also throw on there, just something I really need uh, in, my, in my life to function, is I need, like, uh, cleanliness. You feel me? Oh. I really need, like, because it's just certain things I do. If I don't do them, I'm just uncomfortable. So it's like, uh, like, if, like, I don't get grumpy when I'm hungry or when I'm tired. But after a long shoot, if like my like uh, just like undercarriage butt ball area feels like sloshy or oh, moist at all, yeah, yeah. I'm just not comfortable. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't function anymore. Yo, so I need yeah, my shit to yeah, yeah. feel fresh. Yeah, I feel you. If, yeah. I, if I lived, hygiene, hygiene, hygiene. Yeah, if I lived in a good. perfect world, man, I could shower after every shit I take, dog. I do. I could shower after ah. every. Like yo, literally, when I go to those porta potties at like festivals Ugh. and shit, and I and I drop a deuce, bro. Yeah, I so badly want to just run out and find the nearest shower. There might not be a shower for twenty five miles. I was at Coachella, and I actually had to run back to uh, Desert Palms, one of the neighboring <laughs> cities, to take a shower at a random woman's house, bro. That shit was crazy because you didn't want to be walking around nah, all day. Hey, you know what's you know worse thing, than that? Dog. You know what's worse than that? When you're in the shower and realize that you have to poop, and then you have those to go sit on the, the toilet, fucking worst. With a wet, with butt. wet butt, and you got to and the paper tears Kill and me. shit. Those are the Kill worst. Me right now. So bro. I always feel like that is God being funny. Yeah. Like I feel like when God's bored is when he's like, oh, this mother's taking a shower. You got to shit now. Today, yeah. Random. Oh, just, you thought jerking yeah. off was okay last night? Well, guess what's <laughs> happening now? You got to shit in the shower, dog. And he good, just laughs. Good job. Good job. He's like pulling little cranks <laughs> up in heaven, like make him shit in the shower. <laughs> and Logan's just like, Ugh. All right, yo. Um, and you're definitely going to have to, after all those beans you just ate, you have four pieces of cornbread too, bro. It's so good, bro. And no gluten. That shit probably just- <laughs> Just go right through you. It's okay. I love you. The Met Gala. Yeah. You were there? Just happened. YouTube was, actually. A couple people, yeah. Um, James Charles. Mm-hmm. I think Lily was there. Liza. Liza, yeah. Liza was doing the red carpet again, yeah. I guess they don't want controversial YouTubers. <laughs> of course not, bro. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Fuck us, right? Hey, I'll be there. But yo, Matt Gallup. Um, what, what, what is it, dude? Is it like a fashion thing? Like a, a super fashion forward event just where people can show their art and fashion? Well, I was, see, I was confused for a while because I thought like, 
I wasn't sure if the if the red carpet was actually leading to anything, and it wasn't until later I realized, mm. oh, it's just this is all that it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's it's for the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Is, ah. that, is that right or no? I, I, yeah, the problem, it is. Yeah, okay. so I'm getting yeses from the side here. So, so they just yeah. throw this event every year. Yeah. So it's like, hey, we're re- this is we are fashion, we are like art. And it's just to get, I just. That's got to be weird shit. Like you get, you walk this red carpet, you get to the end of the red carpet, and it's just a street. Yeah. And your car's waiting for you there. And you're like, yo. And by, and by the way, you, fire, you get in dressed as a lamp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, you exactly. get into, which, which, or, or you get into your car carrying your own head. Which, which <laughs> happened like, at the Mega. I want you, I want you, since you're a fashion guy, to rate some of these outfits. Talk about some of these outfits at the Mega. Because <laughs> this was crazy. I saw Katy Perry come out literally dressed as a chandelier. Right. <laughs> and I was, I, I don't even know, bro. Like, was she. Right, well, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull it. Ah. So this was Cardi B. Cardi B shit. That's, that's looking like a red bloody peacock. This is great. Yeah, looking like a red velvet cake. Yeah, it's beautiful. I, I, that, that's just dope to me. Um, are we rating these? I guess I, I don't it know. looks like she's stuck in red quicksand. Ah. And like she's like, help me. Ah. Or one of those things. Look out! When you were younger and you and all your boys stood around it in gym class and would throw it up in the air and then go under it. <laughs> and there'd be like a giant like bubble of wind caught yeah, in there. Look like at 21 tarp. Savage is just like, yo, I got to watch out for that shit, bro. Are you talking about this man that's, that's actually not 21 that's Savage? Not 21 Savage. <laughs> you fucking racist fuck. <laughs> Why is that right? It just, hey, he kind of like, looks like 21 I'm Savage. I'm saying, let's go, bro. Like shit. And then Pitbull right there. Oh shit, bro. They have everybody, dude. <laughs> Roseanne Barr to the right of people. <laughs> oh shit, Ray J right behind. Right, so Cardi did it. Cardi's killing it. Shit's crazy. Uh, everybody right. was saying she looked like a like a used tampon. That's what I was seeing on Twitter. <laughs> I know it's that's not a beautiful nice. used tampon. I know it's a beautiful and, used tampon. And I think, and there's a the remnants of a used tampon right where a used tampon would go. <laughs> <laughs> like, look, bro, there's a used tampon missing from the front of it. Here, here, I think I think it's dope though. Here's another. Oh, that shit was crazy. Wow. That shit was Is crazy. Is that Gaga? Yeah. If you saw a video of her like on like walking on the red carpet and everything was like flowing and like so oh, much, th- this shit was dope. Dog, yeah. yo, they go balls to the wall for this. Dog, yeah. that's crazy. They go all out. Four outfit changes. Four Ooh. outfit changes for Lady Gaga. Yeah, on the red carpet. Like, literally one like in the middle where she just like kind of like slowly took that off and was like a black oh, dress underneath. Yeah. Oh wow. Four outfit changes for a red carpet that goes nowhere. This, Isn't that this crazy? is literally, my favorite. Dude. Katy Perry just. <laughs> Full chandelier. Did you see her outfit change? No, what was she it? was dressed as a cheeseburger at one point. Shut the fuck I up. I swear to God. And well, I was like, this can't. And I was just tweeting about like, yo, let me get invited to the Met Gala. I'm gonna wear the dumbest shit. I was like, yeah. I'm gonna dress up as like a Ninja Turtle or some shit. And uh, someone's like, you seen this? I was like, yo, Katy Perry's living the, living my dream. <laughs> that you was got great. Let, you got Leto or no? I, I actually uh, don't. Uh, what? Yeah. Leto was, that was carrying my his. Sorry. Yeah, that was that's my amazing. favorite. He was carrying his own head. I do have did this you, guy. Did you see that shit? I thought it was dope. Look at this. This is crazy. Just weird. <laughs> that's hey, that's weird. Hey, who is this guy? Uh, oh, his name is Guard. Guard. Yeah, he was in. Uh, oh, he was Tarzan. Blood, blood. All that shit. Oh, I met him before. See what I'm saying? I couldn't tell him apart from any PA <laughs> on one of the sets I've been on. Yo, can I ask you a question? <laughs> are we uh, like other than like people like me and you, and maybe a few others? Like, are are we done with race? Like, can we not as racist jokes like? Or jokes about like race at all off the table? Uh, off the table? Uh, I don't think they're off the table. Compl- I mean, nah, they're not off the table. I feel like you know, as long as you, um, I think any joke can be made if you if you do it right. Yeah. You know, like even on Wild and Out, like I mean, it, it, they're definitely not done on Wild and Out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like people will say like the most like the most basic ass like Asian jokes to me. You know what I'm saying? But when it's in, uh, especially when it's in the kind of um. Like people understand that what the situation is, the context of we're all making fun of each other and we're all saying really kind of like, I mean, the jokes are mad, like low hanging fruit, but it was all like, we're all just having fun, making fun of each other. You know what are I'm you, saying? Are you worried about um, the trajectory of like what's happening to comedy and like the the censorship of the co- comedic realm? Like how far does it go to you're at a point where, yo, like you can't say shit anymore? Yeah, I mean- I mean, I feel it's a, it's a little of both, right? Because I feel like as a comedian, there's definitely shit that there's 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 content I've I've put out back in the day where I'm like I'm like oh shit I I wouldn't I wouldn't put this out now because um part of me like part some of it's like I wouldn't put this out now because I understand why this is inappropriate now. But then also there's content that I wouldn't put out now where I'm like ah man but fuck this is so funny still yeah. to me yeah. you know and it's just kind of like I feel like there's gonna be I almost feel like it's gonna get so like sensitive that there's gonna, it's gonna come to like a, a tipping point. point yeah well, yeah I'm waiting for it I yeah. can't wait I, I want to like be close. standing I, I want to like be close. standing at the top of that mountain <laughs> and I want to be the one that fucking jams the fucking javelin and the mountain is just like. <laughs> 
<laughs> and everyone's just like, Asian, white, fuck, blah, blah, going crazy, bro. Right. And all of a sudden, people are laughing again. Mm -hmm. People are fucking going to comedy hey, shows those again. Those were the days. Those were the days. I was going to say, have you gone to a comedy show? Because because what when they the ones where they take your phone, yeah. like, like at the Laugh Put Factory, in a yo, <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Right, right. They say what, because they know they're protected. Exactly. And it, and it won't escape. The only way someone's going to hear is if it's like a word of mouth thing. Mm hmm. I just want like this people, poor this poor guy. People, this fucking poor people guy. are hyper conscious about what they're saying, including me. Like I can't, I can't <laughs> I make so, many, so guy, many jokes. No, I want to. So not, not even about race all the time. Uh, just like, like I made a joke today, um, in in my vlog, and I was like, I think I said, uh, I had sex when I was seven years old with a Russian, and my dad facilitated it. <laughs> Uh -huh. And then I said, like, yo, that's a joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's a joke. But also, like, fuck, bro. If that gets taken out of context. Greg Paul gets labeled at this thing. And I'm just like, yo, it's a fucking joke. I know. Yeah. I even, I, I I got, there are some, there's a handful of Asian people who are mad at me for, like, not, for being okay with people making, making Asian jokes on Wild and Out. Yeah. And I'm like, bro, they're like, oh, you're making it so that, like, society feels like it's okay to make that joke. But I'm like, bro, first of all, you know, first of all, it's a comedy show. And we're all, <laughs> and I make black jokes when they make Asian jokes. Yeah. And we, we make Latino jokes. We make everybody jokes, right? But also, like, when I was growing up with the homies, it was okay. Like, we yeah. were all just having fun with each other, making fun of each other. They might make an Asian joke, I might make a black joke, and we all just laugh, and that was it. You know, no one took it that serious. I just, know? I can't think of, like, a more dystopian society, end-of-the-world scenario <laughs> than, like, all of us funny people just tiptoeing around trigger <laughs> words. Like, no, no! Watch the fuck out, man! Don't say Russian and don't say seven years old. And definitely don't say dad and don't say fucking sex in that sentence. No, but yo, so we're all I'm left with in that sentence is the and an it. How the fuck am I supposed to be articles, funny when I got, can only use three pronouns, yeah, bro? Yeah. There What's are, good, there are dude? Articles. There are articles. I'm not fucking doing it, bro. I don't give a shit I'm saying what the fuck I want. End of story. Canceled. No, I don't, I can't say Yo, answer, hey, bro. Mike Mike can never get canceled because he never got started. Never bro. got started, bro. <laughs> Try to cancel me. I'm 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 just a fucking guy, bro. Right. I'm a random guy, dude. You can't cancel me, bro. Right. What are you gonna do? You're not I'm gonna so cancel him. You can't cancel what are you gonna gonna him. How do you cancel a non-show? This it doesn't is true. exist. This is true. It's good. <laughs> hey, we've been talking for a while. <laughs> you wanna go to an audio only? Are you cool with that? I'm chill. Wait, whatever you want to do. It's that. basically like this, but I'll so just no visual. So audio only. I want to continue this conversation. We got some juicy stuff I want to ask you to talk about. Sure. There's been a uh David Beckham got banned from using his Fast. banned for six months. I'm reading off Mike's computer. Well, hey, don't you steal my my stuff. <laughs> for using his mobile phone while driving. There was a thousand plus guns seized in a home in LA. I want to talk about all this stuff. What about this? It's gonna be on Spotify and iTunes. Yeah, Denver decriminalized uh, psych psychedelic mushrooms. Far out, the bill man. passed. Wow. Um, yeah, it's wild. So catch us right now. Spotify and iTunes, Timothy Dilagetta, bro. Thank you for coming on. Hey, thanks for having me. Of course, uh, where can they find you on social? Um, Instagram, Timothy De La Ghetto, and then YouTube.com slash Timothy. That's what, those are the important ones. Big facts. We love you guys. Hit that subscribe button. Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Out. Oh, but yo, but yo plane, imagine, imagine if like, I mean, you know how you, you know how dumb people can get. Imagine if someone on mushrooms just like stumbles into a scenario where like people are just living their everyday lives, not being psychedelic and I think tripped that's out. gonna happen. Yeah. That's gonna be a weird interaction.